Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share a project with you today. Um, a couple of months ago I received a gypsy album from Roseanne. Hi Roseanne. Um, I'm sure you'll all remember it. It's amazing and beautiful. I absolutely love it so much. Um, and I really wanted to try a gypsy album but I really wasn't ready to try all the bright colours yet. So what I thought I would do is do like a <clears throat> vintage look gypsy album. Um, and I haven't got enough dark colours to go straight in and do one anyway. It's something I would have to build up to. But um, I wanted to do something I was com comfortable with first. Um, and I would get really frustrated if I started on a, um, you know, using the darker colours and I didn't have enough of what I wanted to, to be able to do it. Um, so I went ahead and I love this little bag and I'm showing you this because I um, used this design in my um, gypsy book. Um, so thank you so much Roseanne, you know how much I love this. So the past couple of weeks um, I've been working on this. I have had some computer problems, My I can't, Skype won't work, it's gone off my um, computer, I need to reload it and reset it and um, I've had issues with emails <laughs> but um, I'll get it fixed. It's just it's just not been um, timing hasn't been good. But I'll I'll tell you a little bit more at the end of the video. I just wanted to share this with you first. So I went um, along the theme of like crochet, vintage crochet, um, gypsy. <laughs> so this is actually the back and the base of this book. I did actually use. Um, an old uh, sofa cover, you know the ones that go over the, used to go over the back of the sofas and then you'd have two on the arms to protect the sofa. Um, so I did actually start off with the long sofa piece and I, I cut it into sections and then I, I actually hand stitched the base of this book together because I haven't got round to sorting out my sewing machine either. Um, so I hand stitched it and put the base together um, a couple of weeks ago and then I worked on it. As you can see the back is just covered with two of the very larger doily doilies, uh, lace doilies folded in half to make the back page and then I added this uh, rose and rosebud applique onto the back. So that's the back cover. So. Um, going to share this. Okay. So I went for, um, I printed all the images in like a, a sepia colour to go with the, the kind of vintage gypsy feel that I, in my head, that I wanted. <laughs> now, I didn't pad the images, but I padded each page of the book so that it had um, a thicker structure on this and um, I really went for it on this <laughs> I really really did <laughs> so I layered lots of uh, tea dyed lace lots of crochet pieces um, I just wanted it to be really sort of um, probably a bit over the top um, it's got wedding appliques, um, ribbon flowers, bits of bling on the front. Uh, I didn't put so much bling throughout it, but on the front I did. Um, and I found these really cute little mirror pieces with like a crochet edge. Um, let's see if I've got one here. And my chip mug. I love Beauty and the Beast. They're not in there. 
and my other cup. So these little pieces, and I just thought they were perfect for it. So I've used a lot of these throughout, and a lot of um, ribbon roses, which I actually tea dyed as well. I did actually tea dye these. I just popped them in a little organza bag and dropped them into the tea dye and left them there. And they held very well, so I was quite thrilled with that. There is an awful lot going on on this book. <laughs> um, so there's layers of laces and doilies. I won't go through all the laces or anything. Um, little bits of applique. You know, I cut the flowers off appliques and then layer them up. I've got the mirror piece here. Um, this is a nice big bling piece. This was off a bracelet. I've got a bow here on the side with pearls, lots more ribbon roses, this is a crochet flower. Now this flower I actually got from June, hi June, and I've saved it in my flower um, display and this I thought was perfect because you know keeping with the crochet theme. Got a little bit of bling here, some more mirror, some more um, rolled roses and you can see the little mirror pieces peeping out here and there. There is also a few little coins. I can't see that one very well. There's one there but there's one here and there's another one here and then I've got these tiny jingle bells that I hand stitched on. Uh, wedding applique another bling piece, some more lots of little roses in the mirror pieces there um, and of course some dangles I couldn't not have dangles <laughs> you know me and the dangles um, I'll just quickly show you I didn't want uh, necessarily a flat but it, it is a flat spine underneath but I didn't want just a single piece of lace down the spine so I layered it up here because I, ju I just wanted that that volume and I've got a cotton tassel with a hessian heart just hanging down the side so that's the front page <coughs> excuse me okay Oh, it's very full. <laughs> so if I just remove these for a moment. So this is a pocket page and there is little bits of gold in here as well. Um, this is just a doily folded in half. I have added some like gold and pearl um, trim along there. This was actually a hairband that I cut up and took the, the pearls off. And again, I've got the little flowers layered with the little mirrors. And then here. There is some vintage pieces in here. This is a vintage uh, piece that I got from a car boot sale. And I loved the shape of it. And it fitted on there perfectly. Another flower with the mirrors. I just loved the whole mirror thing on this. Uh, on the doily I have added more of the little jingle bells sorry I should zoom in a bit you'll just see I've just sewn them on here and there onto the sides here they're really cute um, so that's the pocket page and in this pocket I've made a couple of tags and just keeping the same theme and quite a lot of this was, you know, little bits of applique cut and added. So we've got a beautiful image there. I didn't talk about the image on the front page, but 
uh, again, ribbon roses, the little mirror, lots of ribbon roses, so that one sits higher. Then another little one. The image on this isn't as good as I hoped it would be, but I, it does look vintage. It is a uh, gypsy wagon. It's a little bit dark, but... And again, just framed with lace. And these are all on, you know, just like fabric pieces. And then when I was talking about Roseanne's little bag, I love this design so much that I used that and I made a little crochet one, which I love. Um, I added um, bead trim onto it, lots of bead trim, so. and then I just embellished it in, in the same way, little bits of lace, little mirror bit, the, the ribbon roses, a little bit of bling, and again here, and this is just half a doily folded in half and stitched down the edge, and then seam binding for the tie. I just love that, that design, it's so lovely. And inside, I've just popped a few little things, because over here, um, in the older days, um, gypsies used to sell clothespins, so I had these tiny clothespins with flowers on. So I popped some of those in there, because they kind of tie in with the theme. I think there's another one. My little bottle. Yeah. And then um, also they were known for selling heather, um, you know, for luck. But I didn't have heather, but I did have lavender, so I've made a little lavender bottle <laughs> and popped that in there too. I had so much fun making this. It did take me quite a while though, but so that's back in there. Okay, so moving on to this page, another beautiful gypsy image. Again, laces all around, lots of little flowers made up with appliques and the mirrors. Uh, ribbon roses and um, appliques, just bits, there's a little bit of tatting lace here with, I've sewn the bells on. Uh, this is a crochet flower that I actually, I bought this on eBay and it was pure white wool one and I actually tea dyed that. Um, added the mirror, another coin, more bells. <laughs> And again, on the dangles on this one, I've sewn a little bell onto the bottom of each one. Um, so that's that page. <clears throat> Another pocket page here. Um, this was a square doily here with some applique on it. Let me just take these out. And again, I kept the... Um, whole little flowers and mirrors and there's some dangle, uh, beady dangle on this one, more bells <laughs> and just lots of uh, laces and bits and pieces just layering it up. It's quite a nice big pocket on this one. Again, you know, the tassel laces at the bottom and two tags on this one. This one is this beautiful image and again applique, the mirrors and a bit, a little bit of tatting. I have used some, oh and this lace is a piece of vintage lace I had. So I have used some vintage piece, pieces of lace in this one. 
and then this one is just a little uh, gypsy poem that I printed and put on fabric and it's called Gypsy Soul I'm not going to read it to you just now because I don't want the video to be too long and this is a little bit of vintage lace here and again the ribbon roses and the mirror I'm so thrilled how these turned out I really am This page, another beautiful image, um, wedding applique uh, lace, this lace has gold flecks running through it, I think I've used it on a few of the other pages, a little bit of uh, tassel braid here, the flowers, another flower, a little bit of bling here, um, layers of laces. This one's got a dangle, the dangle flower with the flowers built up slightly. And on this lace I've sewn the bells again just on here. So we get that little tinkle. <laughs> a little tinkle. And down the centre of each page I had like a centimetre between each page when I when I was sewing it together. I wanted that little bit depth between each page, page and it's just got gold braiding down the centre of each page. And the final pocket page, let me just take these out. Again it's made with a doily, a square doily. And I've just put this beautiful wedding applique on a cluster of flowers. The little mirrors. Um, I've got this uh, rose applique coming down here. Actually this was two square doilies, one for the pocket and one for the background here. And I've just edged this one here. Um, little bits and pieces of lace down here. More tassels. And then on the bottom of this doily I just stitched the little bells on along there and the little tags for this page are the fortune teller one I, I just love the little touch with the mirrors I was so happy I found those and then the palmistry fortune telling the little diagram as well and then you know little flowers. I wanted it so that the flowers were peeping out of the pockets as well so I added another look to it. Um, the final image page um, here again another beautiful um, image framed with laces there's a couple of little uh, vintage laces there there's also this tiny dangle trim that I've used up the side here the same one that I've used across here it's so tiny but it looks really cute a kind of vine up the side here which I've added the little flowers to. Um, that cluster here, more of the mirror, mirrors popping out just behind the flowers. An applique, another coin. This is, I'll show you that in a minute, uh, small bells on here. Lots more dangles. <laughs> um, and most of the pages were um, covered using quite big doilies that I cut into sections so it looks like I've used a lot of doilies but actually I used some of the big ones so um, I actually only used one or two because I was I was cutting a big one for each to fit on each page um, this 
this crochet piece I found on, I think it was AliExpress. Let me zoom in. So you've got the the crochet flower and then off it is six smaller crochet pieces here. So six dangling flowers and then I've layered up flowers onto that. So I thought they were so cute and it kind of sort of layers over. I really like that. And again this was a lighter colour and I did actually tea dye it to make it the darker uh, colour. And of course, you know, bits of um, dangle. <laughs> you know me and dangles. So that's my gypsy <laughs> book. And then of course we've got the, the back page again. Let me just show you. And there's the dangles there. So, and that's the beautiful image on the front that I forgot to talk about. Um, so I'm so thrilled how it turned out. Um, I'm hoping that over time if I collect some of the jewel colours then I'll be brave enough to try um, the brighter uh, darker tones, if you know what I mean. Um, I just wanted to quickly um, just let you know because, well, if you're if you're on my Facebook, you'll know. Um, but if not, quite a few of you will have seen my cat Tala appear in a few videos. Um, she's one. We have twin sister cats, Tala and Simba. And unfortunately this week Tala went to sleep and um, so it's been, she had been ill, um, so it's been a tough week and she was my little crafty buddy, she was always on my desk. <laughs> when I was putting some pictures up on Facebook I thought, oh my gosh, she loves lace as much as I do, she was just always here, I could never leave anything just sat on the desk that was lace or fabric because she would just make a bed on it. <laughs> I always had to cover it with a, a tablecloth or something so that um so she she is my little crafty buddy. I mean she had a she had a good life and we we had her for thirteen years from from a tiny kitten. She was seven weeks old when we got her. And you know, the main thing is she's not in pain, she's not suffering and but but you just know how it is when when one of the fur babies goes. It's 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 tough getting used to it. So it has been quite a, an emotional week, and and the kids took it hard. Even though they're all adults now, the kids took it hard, you know. And Alfie and Simba are pining and looking for her, and but we're we're doing a nice. Um, uh, little memorial in the garden for her. Um, nothing morbid, it's, it's going to be like a little fairy garden. Um, so it will be a happy place to remember her, not not a sad place. And I mean, she blessed our lives. Um, I think the hardest thing for me is, is, it's just, she was always on my desk, so not having her next to me. But she was with me most of the time whilst I made this so um, yeah she's gonna be missed but you know like I say she's not in pain anymore and um, ah, she's playing somewhere over the rainbow <laughs> that's what I keep telling the kids she's <laughs> anyway hopefully I'll be back soon with another video do let me know what what you think and um, I will speak to you all soon bye for now <laughs>